Hey y'all, so welcome back to my channel. Today we have Makeup Bag Monday, and in case you are new to my channel, first of all, hi. Hi. Uh, and second, if you're new to Makeup Bag Monday, it's basically where I test out five products for the week. These could be new to me, shop my stash, stuff I'm just not sure how I feel about quite yet, and then I come back and report on how they did. So, um, this week we tested out the Guerlain Gold Face Primer, the Urban K Naked Heat Palette, a Burberry Mascara, Wonder Brow, and something from It Cosmetics. So I have some hits, I have some misses, and yeah, let's just get into it. Alright, so let's get started with the Naked Heat palette. This is like the new hot item, well besides like the Jaclyn Hill palette, um, but this is you know the true hot item of the moment and I really 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 like it. So I used it obviously today for my eyeshadow look. I've been using it all week and I'm pretty dang happy with it, if I'm going to be honest. I have a few tutorials on my channel already um, using this palette so I'll be sure to link those down below and in the cards, but I mean I mean, come on, come on. If you love like really, really, really warm eyeshadows, this is the perfect palette for you because that's all it is. And I like this because they have so many matte shades because in previous Naked palettes, they only have maybe like between two and four out of 12 shadows. This one has seven, so over half are matte. And for me, you can only incorporate really so many shimmer shadows in an eyeshadow look to make it more interesting, but you can do a lot of mattes and really like make it um, I don't know, add depth and shadow and all that good stuff. Um, but I have been really, really, really enjoying this. My only complaint with this palette is this one shade, Lumbre, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, it just isn't like poppy enough for me. I just wish it was more foiled like the other shimmer shadows in the palette. So as you can tell in the tutorial today, I first went in with it dry, but then I ended up adding some setting spray just to give it a little bit of like shimmer, you know what I mean? But other than that, I do really love the palette. Um, obviously, if you don't wear colors like this, you shouldn't get this palette because I don't think you'll get your money's worth out of it. But if you do love a good warm like eyeshadow look, you can totally do it. Okay, moving on to the face primer we were using all week. This is the Guerlain Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold. This is like a 70 something dollar face primer, but people freaking love it. So I got this in a Sephora play box and I was very excited to be able to try it. So I'm about halfway done. So I'd say this product would last a good two weeks, but for $70? No, I don't think so. Um, I mean, it smells really nice. It gives your skin a nice, like, tacky kind of texture, but not in, like, a sticky way, just tacky. So I do feel like it, you know, keeps your makeup on for a good amount of time. But, I mean, I also have, like, $10 drugstore ones that I like. So I don't see it doing anything special. And then also doesn't do anything for my pores. I really need, like, some pore filling and smoothing going on. This is just, I don't know, I just don't really get it. And also, isn't gold really not, like, great for your skin? Like, I feel like I've read that in multiple places. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but, I mean, it smells nice, but I would not repurchase this, like, full size. No. Alright, next the mascara that we use this week is from Burberry, and this is their Cat Eye Lash Mascara. No. No. I really wanted to like this, but I don't know, I just really, for the price, I either can get like two and a half drugstore mascaras, or I can get the Giorgio Armani Ice to Kill, which I freaking love, or I can get like the Buxom Mascara or the Too Faced Mascara and then have money to spend on something else. Yeah, just for the money, I don't think it's that great. I mean, it didn't flake or smudge or anything on me, but it's just, it's just alright. Next thing we use this week is the Wonder Brow, and I really like this stuff. At first it was kind of weird just because it is like a straight up of just liquid, but once you get used to it, it makes your brows look really, really good, and it holds them in place, which is all I need because I have some crazy eyebrows, y'all. Like my eyebrows like to go this way, that way, that way, that way, just all over, and this held them in place. I never even used brow gel this week which is crazy because I always use brow gel. I started this week out using this with a separate um, angled little eyeliner brush just because I was kind of intimidated by the brush wand on the actual applicator because this wand is literally like a lip gloss wand. But later in the week I got a little bit more comfortable and I would just do it you know, directly from the brush. And then I just brush it out with a spoolie and 
and it looks really really good. And another concern a lot of people have is it coming off because it is supposed to be like a semi-permanent product. But for me it came off easy enough with my um, evening skincare cleansing routine. So yes, I love this. You can buy this at Ulta now. You can get this at CVS. It's like what, $20? Which is a little pricey obviously for a brow product. But I mean it works so. And the last thing that we use this week is the It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Glow Palette. And I want to say that this is the nude one. It doesn't tell me anywhere on the back, but I do want to say, oh, it tells me right here on the top. Of course, Bailey. Um, but yeah, this is the Instant Nude Glow. There we go. And I actually really, really like this. Usually products that have like all three kind of blended into one are a little intimidating because, you know, you don't want to get like, you know, blush in your bronzer. You know what I mean? But I think... It works actually really really well. I really like the tone of the bronzer because it's a little bit more like neutral and cool instead of being super orange. The blush is a really pretty neutral kind of peachy color and the highlight's a nice like everyday kind of golden color and they really do work well together. I don't have a problem with them getting kind of into each other's lane if you know what I mean when I'm using a brush. So yeah, I actually really like this. Alright, so those are all the products that we tested out last week. Now let's talk about what we're going to be using for this upcoming week. So, first things first is something that's new, and this was sent to me for review, but as always, I will be super, super honest, and honestly, I'll be like extra honest with this one because this is expensive. This is a YSL primer. This is their Too Chiclet Blur Primer, and I've had their Too Chiclet um, concealer pen like back in the day, and I did like it. This is another one of those like gold infused primers, which I'm just very skeptical about, but a looks really pretty. I'm going to be using the Koki Cosmetics Cushion Concealer. I did a whole review on Koki Cosmetics kind of a long time ago, maybe a month or so ago. And I remember thinking this concealer was alright, but I need a little bit more time with it and I just haven't picked it up since. So we're going to be using this for the week. For face powder, we are going to be using the NARS Translucent Crystal Pressed Powder. I haven't used this in a hot second. I forgot how much I liked it. I think I like it at least. I used to really like it. So we will, you know, bring this back and see how we feel about it. For brows, we're going to be using the Soap and Glory Arch to Triumph Brow Pencil. This has a brow pencil on one side and then a highlighter on the other. It looks like this. It's really cute packaging, I gotta say, so we shall see how this works. And then finally, the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using this week is the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. I already know I really like this palette and I just wanted to use it, so this is what we're going to be working with for the week. Okay, y'all, so that is everything for this week's Makeup Bag Monday. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you want to see tested out in a future Makeup Bag Monday. But, yep, that is everything for today's video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.